Our son Grayson is a year and a half, and he's a super healthy baby. We know that he doesn't have my type of dwarfism, which is achondroplasia, but we don't know if he has pseudoachondroplasia, which is Joe's type of dwarfism, or if he's even average. But pseudoachondroplasia doesn't show any signs or symptoms until a child is around the age of two. So the only way that it can be detected before then is having Joe see if his blood work matches Grayson's work. Lifetime's Little Women LA is now in its seventh season. And one of our favorites, Tara Jolet, joins us this morning as she's here to break some big but serious news about her youngest son, Grayson. Hi, Tara. Hi, guys. Tara. Always awesome to see both of you. Oh, it's been thanks. a while, I feel like. Since it has been a little bit. I mean, it's been like two weeks. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a while. But, but in that time, a lot has happened. A lot has yeah. happened. We are in um, the midst of season seven of Little Women LA. And a lot of people have been inquiring regarding Grayson because he resembles an average sized child. Mm -hmm. um, Acons, when we're born, we look like, okay, I know that's an acon. They have larger heads, their bodies are the same size, their arms and their legs are a little bit shorter, but average size and pseudos are born exactly the same. So we had to have testing in order to find out if he was little or average. And we weren't going to for a long time, but um, we ended up deciding on actually having the testing done. And it's official that he is little. We are in a little family. <laughs> and I'm really grateful for that. I, I know that a lot of people think that it may be a negative thing, but we wouldn't have had children if we thought dwarfism was negative. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like being little has made me kind of who I am today. And so I'm proud that he's little and I'm proud that we have a little family yeah. and with all of the ups and downs that dwarfism does have, I feel like he's in the best environment to explore that. He is he precious. Is. <laughs> How did has... Joe handle the news? Um, I think, I think honestly he could have said that he doesn't care one way or the other, but in all reality, you want a healthy baby, and I know that he himself has gone th have gone through a lot of surgeries. So I know that it's it's kind of a scary beginning, knowing that your f son may face the same kind of surgeries that you went through. Mm -hmm. But overall, I think that he is he's totally comfortable with knowing that his son is just like him. It's like his little clone. <laughs> yeah, he looks like his twin. He's and so cute. I'm so grateful for that. So what what mm -hmm. kinds of surgeries? Is there anything preventative that could you know that he could have in the next couple of years to to help sort of his growth? They're still doing testing on that, but it actually is something that is being explored. Um, I don't necessarily think that that's a safe route for us, just because mm -hmm. I don't. It, like I said, I'm really happy that he is little. I know that that's not the easiest solution in everybody's eyes, and it. The last thing that I want is for people to feel sorry for dwarfism because I feel like at the end of the day, this has made us who we are. This is a part of our lives. Everybody carries the possibility of having a little person. And it's like one in 30,000. It's right? one in 30,000. Yeah. So I feel like it's, it's a great way of showing that you stand out in the world and how you stand out in the world makes all the difference. Was there a conversation at home when the testing was going on with you and Joe? Is it something? Would you like to bait it at the dinner table or talk about it at night or? Yeah, I mean, Joe immediately had the instinct that he was little, like from a while before we ever did the testing. And there's no real physical features that say that that's a little person, but because with pseudos, they don't stop or slow down their growth patterns until two or three years of age. So right now, he's in preschool. He just started preschool. Oh my gosh, oh. that's so scary. <laughs> Anyways, but he's in preschool and it's so incredibly, or daycare actually, but it's so incredibly um, weird because he looks exactly like every other child there. And yet I know eventually that growth pattern is gonna slow down. And I just hope that I can be as involved in the schools and as involved in his life as he knows so that he's comfortable with it. But it's scary. Yeah. We would be like, he's average. He's little. He's average. He's little all the time. <laughs> well, meanwhile, and, your daughter Penny yes. has your kind of dwarfism. So she does. She's, so she's had surgeries. She's had to deal with a little bit more already, and she's not walking. Oh yet. my goodness! Look at her. She Delicious. has had to deal with a little bit more than I than we ever expected. Um, yeah. Having a little person, I just 
I, out of ignorance, you assume that they're like your clone, mm -hmm. and she's had a lot more complications than I have, sadly. But um, we're working through it, and I th still, I mean, there's no personality on earth that meets your own child. So, <laughs> yeah. How's she doing today, though? She's still working on walking, and we're still in the process of that. Um, it's been difficult because, mm -hmm. like I said, my son's in daycare, but um, my daughter, sadly, can't get into a day. Oh, my gosh, I, I was not going to go here. <laughs> can't go into a daycare until she can walk. And so I'm like, ah. Anyways. When could that happen? Um, it's supposed to happen, like, right now. Mm -hmm. So we're working on it. But it's just part of being different. I mean, everything happens at different stages. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. my gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I know, I know. Don't worry about it. Aww. It's uh, it's already your little penny. It's every yeah. mom. Every mom, you want everything good for your kids. You do. And yeah. I think that, like, I'm not... I, I know everybody goes at different stages. Everybody does. And so I'm not... I'm not saddened by that. I'm saddened that there's no programs because I do feel like she's motivated by other children. And then I feel like there's no programs out there that are like, hey, we will take your child mm -hmm. if she can or can't walk. It's like, we'll take your daughter as soon as she's able to walk. Maybe Aww. that needs to change. That has Clearly to change. that needs to change. I would love that. Maybe that you're the person to start that. Yeah. Um, Tara, we, we're going to talk so much more about Sit your tight. family. Uh, what you've been through. It's been it. quite a couple of years for you. Yes. Um, and your marriage. And you and Joe seem to be stronger than ever. Talk yes, about yeah. that coming And you're dancing, bit. dancing with the stars. You went so far, yes. my friend. Look you at that. She's got the high heel. heel. Look at those heels. <laughs> wow. Much more, Tara, coming up next. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sweet Aww. girl.